so hello everyone today we are going to talk about tokens in python now uh, in its simplest form tokens are nothing but the smallest individual unit of a programming language so suppose uh, if i declare something of this sort a is equal to 10 right uh, so in here a equal to and 10 all of them are concerned are considered to be a token in the prog programming language so again it is nothing but the smallest individual unit of a program so this is an entire statement of which this is a token this is a token this is a token now we'll talk about the types so in python we have four types of tokens right so we have keywords uh, then we have something called as an identifier Then we have something called as an operator and Then th there is something called as a literal so we'll discuss about each and every one of them and its individual format so uh, before uh, further ado, uh, let's start with keywords So keywords are nothing but reserved words now every uh, programming language or even uh, a normal language per se will have some reserved keywords uh, reserved words which convey a special meaning right so if i write something of this sort like a chair so you understand a chair is an object on which you sit upon right so you are not gonna name a person like chair right so you are not gonna um, name something as mr chair kumar right it doesn't make sense uh, similarly for uh, reserve words uh, their meaning is fixed so you cannot use them for any purpose other than that right so some of the uh, example of reserve words are if while right uh, then none mm. Uh, then there can be pass and uh, then can there can be for there can be while so you see we will uh, look at them uh, individually uh, later on but for now you have to understand that these words cannot be used for any purpose other than their intended purpose in the language right so that is what keyword is so now next we will talk about identifiers So, as the name suggests itself, it identifies something. So, identifiers are nothing but names, right? They are the names. Those are assigned to variables, right? Assigned to functions, assigned to classes, right? Uh, so, again, uh, there are certain rules for defining a valid identifier or a valid name in python programming language and uh, we'll uh, look at those uh, rules as of now right so it can't be an keyword now as i said again uh, in case of keywords they have a particular purpose so they cannot be used to name a variable so uh, if i write something of this sort like while is equal to 10 i cannot do that because while has a particular meaning and i cannot use it uh, to identify 10 right but i can use a is equal to 10 now this is possible uh, here we are identifying this particular value 10 with a this is doable so again we have to remember that keywords cannot be used as an identifier now the second rule is that can't start with a number right so if i write uh, so if i write uh, two name is equal to something of as uh, ray now this is not doable though we'll talk about the strings and everything later on uh, this is not doable 
as it starts with a number so identifiers should always start with an alphabet so the first alphabet can be capital small doesn't matter and numbers are allowed later on right so if i write name 2 is equal to ray it is valid but this one because as it starts with a number it is not valid yes it can start with an underscore so if i write something of this sort right it will work now the next point is that no special character is allowed right so i cannot write something of that sort like hash uh, name or um, is equal to 10 right though it can be used but uh, again it will not be an identifier it will become something of uh, comment right so no special symbols i cannot use dollar uh, name is equal to 30 something of that sort right so it's not doable so if i write if i write name dot uh, day is equal to whatever Sunday maybe again it is not valid because it has a special character in it I cannot even uh, add um, spaces in between like name space day is equal to maybe 10 whatever doesn't matter so again there is a space so this is also invalid so as of now so we can only include underscore underscore is only valid everything else is invalid right so as the rule suggests you, you know, we can uh, have something called as an alphabet we can have alphabet we can have number but not in the beginning and we can have underscore right uh, all other uh, symbols are not allowed right so this was all about identifiers and again uh, what is identifier uh, um, identifiers are nothing but names right identifier are the names that are being assigned to variable functions and classes basically they are used to identify a value in python so they are not storage containers of any sort as it's being said in other programming language right